Sarah okay. McLeod, it's good to have you back at Noise11.com. And I'm very excited to tell everybody that there is new music from the Super Jesus. Yeah. Hi, Paul. It's been a while. Thanks for having me. <laughs> and speaking of been a while, it has been a very long time since we've put out a record. So it's it's pretty exciting for us. We we were nervous. We've been it's always nerve-wracking putting out a record. And I think we were just we weren't ready. And now we're like, we're ready, let's go. And I'm not scared anymore. It's time. Well, there were five songs in 2016, and then prior to that, we went all the way back to 2003. So the motivation was there in, in 2016. Why didn't that progress to a full album at that point? Um, we didn't have the songs. We only had five songs. So we were like, let's put out these five songs. Whereas now we've got loads of songs. So, I mean, this the whole time ever since, um, I mean, for the last 10 years, Ruddy and I have been writing. So we've just had just accumulating song after song after song. We had a bank. And then now that we're ready, we're like, okay, let's go into the bank. And um, the other day we recorded seven of the best and uh, then we're going to go back in and record another three or four. And we're really happy with them because it's been, we had, we had a lot to choose from. So we got to sort of cherry pick all the best ones. Will there be anything from Love and Violence that goes on to the album? No, it's all fresh. It's a fresh sound, fresh band, fresh sound. It's, it's different. Wow. So this uh, first song, Money, is also the title of the tour. Yep, Money, we're only in it for love. Yep, yeah, our motivation is now uh, to have fun. We want to we wanna stand on stage, have a good time, and we want the people who have bothered to come out of their house, get a babysitter, go outside in the cold or whatever, if they're bothered to come to our show, our job is to make them have fun. And that's all we're about these days is just playing music and having a good time and spreading love and joy. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's beautiful, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> we have blood two... sport, though. Yeah, we, well, absolutely. We have two new members in the Super Jesus. We do. Yep, we've got Cam Blockland on guitar and Murray Sheridan on drums. And the dynamic is what we've been looking for for a really long time. So we're pretty excited about where we're at and cannot wait to get out and play this live. How does the audition process go for the Super Jesus? Do you uh, and Ruddy sit in a room with suits on and they all have to come in with their resumes? <laughs> um, it's not Australian Idol. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this particular, um, the way we did it on this time, was different to how we normally do it because I was on tour all year doing Jane Eyre. I was out doing a play. So I was away. And so I had to get ready to do the auditions without me. So he would, I'd go, you know, try this dude, try this dude. And, you know, he, he was bringing people in and I was sending people in and he would just sort of do them all individually and then he would record it and send me the recordings. And then we'd sit and listen to the recording and go, yep, no, yep, no, you know. <laughs> so what's the background kind of, of the two new guys? Well, the uh, guitar player, the guitar player was recommended to me ages ago, years ago by my mum uh, because her, his mum lives in the same building as my mum, like across the hall. And my mum was saying, oh, you've got to get Cam Blockland in on guitar. Like he's, he's a great player. He'd be really, really good in the band. I'm like, mum, you know, get off of my shit. Like what are you doing? Suggesting business things for the super Jesus. It's got nothing to do with it. You don't know what you're talking about. Bloody hell, mum. And then it turns out I did a show called The 27 Club, which is a fringe festival thing in Adelaide, and Cam was playing guitar in that. And I was like, that's the guy my mum was banging on about. How bizarre. And here he is, and he's good. He's actually really good. So I, when we went to do auditions, I was like, Ruddy, call this guy and have, have a crack at him and you know, see what he's like. He turned out to be amazing. And um, the other guy, Murray, we had, we had, we had almost – Ruddy was sort of down the track a fair bit with a different drummer that that he was into, and I hadn't, I wasn't there, so I didn't know the other drummer yet. But um, when I did a Beatles show recently, it's called All You Need Is Love, and there was a keyboard player at the show, and um, he and I got along well, and we flew uh, to Queensland the next day to do, to both do the Rolling Stones review, and then we got stuck at the airport for hours. So he and I were sitting there talking, and I was telling him my predicament, and he goes, "I know who you should get." Murray Sheridan. Murray's your guy. I've got a thing about connecting people. I'm good at this. Trust me. So I was like, okay. And I rang Ruddy and I said, Ruddy, what about we throw in a last minute wild card? And he was like, oh, okay. And But he lived in the Blue Mountains, which was, oh, no, listen to the Blue Mountains because we wanted everybody to live in Adelaide. So it was easier. 
and we're like, oh no, he's in the Blue Mountains. We're like, oh well, you know, if he's really good, it won't matter that he lives in the bloody Blue Mountains. Who cares where he lives, you know? And he went down to do the jam with Ruddy, and Ruddy sent me the recording, and I was like, bam, there we go, there's our band. So it was a series of strange events that led us to these two guys. Wow. So in 2023, when this money tour gets underway, this will be the 20th anniversary of the last album, Rock Music. Uh, now, there was a 20th anniversary edition of Sumo, the first album, uh, but no 20th anniversary of Jet Age. Um, so did you decide not to continue that tradition, that of, the yeah, tradition you know, of one, by the way? Yeah, no, but I, I actually started getting, um, like, over all of these anniversary things. So it's you know, anniversary of this, anniversary of that. Like, I was like, who cares? You know, let's just make some new music. Let's stop living in the past. I don't want to live in the past anymore. I don't want to keep going out playing the same songs. And, well, there's another reason to do it because it's been 10 years, whatever. Like, let's make some new music and start again with passion like we had in the old days. So that's yeah. why. The uh, the old days have served you well, though, haven't they? I mean, you can't put a set list together without the old days taken care of. Oh, no, totally, Yeah. Uh, we uh, it's very hard for us to choose songs these days. It's getting harder with the new record. We're like, wow, because we've got to play all the old singles, and that's there's a lot of them. So that's like three quarters of the set with just singles that we've released. And then we're like, okay, now we need space for the new songs. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm very excited about the new record. If I had it my way, at the moment we play all the new songs and nothing else, but we can't do that. So don't worry, we're not doing that. <laughs> Yeah, you've had a, a very active uh, couple of years. I mean, there was a last solo album, Rocky's Diner, uh, also the theatre shows that you've been doing as well. So does that all get put to the side in 2023? Is Sarah McLeod just about the Super Jesus next year? Um, I'm never just about one thing. I wear many hats and I will continue to wear many hats. Hmm. One at a time, of course, including... <laughs> no. not, not always. <laughs> Yeah. Not always. <laughs> so so uh, how far off is the album then? Um, I We don't have a release date for the album yet. So we're going to put out the first single in January and I think the next single a couple of months after that and stagger a few singles, do another tour, and then probably later in the year. Yeah. So we've got dates uh, January, February, March. Um, yep. And, an yeah, album and then we'll put later. out another single. So an album later in the year. Yeah. I mean, I want it out now. I want it out. Like yesterday, I can't. I'm. I patience is not one of my strong points, and I'm. I wish we could put it out immediately, but you know, got to follow the plan. And apparently, it's coming out later in the year. Oh, look, I would have liked December twenty five as a release date for money. A little, yeah, a me little too. Christmas, it's ready. Christmas money from the Super Jesus. <laughs> totally Christmas present. That yeah. would have, that would have been the ideal release date. I know, yeah. Who wants it in January? God, no one wants to do it in January. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. That'll be to pay off <laughs> the bills, yes. So good to see uh, going out with Dallas Crane too. Um, you know, yeah, great another, band. Another great band, particularly, you know, very well known here in Melbourne. Yeah, we have wanted to play with them for ages. We haven't, I don't think we've ever played a show with them. Um, I've done a few shows um, with them, but as a band, we haven't played with them before. So they've been on our list for ages. Well, there might be a bit of motivation for them to do new music then. Hey, we should all be doing new music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. The uh, the Money Tour 2023. Let's see. It kicks off in Sydney. Two dates in Sydney. We uh, we don't get the pleasure of your company uh, until March, the end of the tour in Melbourne. Too. Yeah, but you'll get you'll get the Schmick machine that's been doing what are we eight shows in? Yeah. We'll we'll be like so comfortable by the time we get to you guys. Yeah. Consider all the others the Melbourne rehearsals. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Looking forward to it. Good to see you. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for having me. See you on the road. <laughs>